the G430 Max 10K. And it's landed. So Phil Ping have done a sight schoolboy error that it looks exactly the same. They could have either just tweaked the colour a little bit or maybe changed the head cover so when you've got it in your bag it really looks apps stands out, looks apart, and everyone knows that you've updated your club and you've made that purchase. People like that. I don't know why they haven't done it. So I've hit quite a few down there already and I'm comparing it in my head against the uh, Taylor, so it outperforms the Taylor 100%. It just has got that oomph off the face. It feels like it's going and it feels so forgiving. And if I'm going to trust anyone out of the two companies who's come up with the technology first, it's definitely Ping because they've both got that 10k thing going on and 100% Ping. Callaway, yes. Definitely worth a head to head against the ping. Personally, for me, I feel the ping has won 100%. Honestly, I just thought I'd hit a few balls down there first to give me an idea of what to say, and it's won. It looks good behind the ball, same look as the 430, so there's no change there. Same matte black finish, so it looks nice and hittable. I think the faster go wins on the top there uh, are quite good on the alignment front. There's something too funky on the bottom, so you haven't got any, you've got a nice sole so you can get the club face square, which a lot of people do tend to struggle with. And it feels good off the face, feels like it's going somewhere, and feels really forgiving, really forgiving. So I've hit a few couple of shots, gone off to the right, a little bit off the bottom, but it's still gone down there. It is still flown down there, so spot on. If you're going to make a purchase and you're making a big purchase there, aren't you? Because you're looking to spend just over that £500 mark, around that. It is 100% worth putting in the mix, definitely. Uh, yeah, and if you, if you top it, if you hit it right off the edge or any extreme shot, it's still going to be a bad shot. So it's not going to do miracles. So the face is open on that one by 0.4. 2.4 into out, 0.4 open, so I've just got that little tail on it, and it was fairly struck in the middle. And it's 95 miles an hour, and it's carried just shy of 225 miles, uh, sorry, 225 yards, which it was miles. That and that, so that's done all right. That's pretty good for that club head speed, that distance, carry wise. That's quite good. So let's have another go. So that was off the toe, that was off the toe, carry 230, so there's, there's your one, that's the one, that's what they're going on about, you don't need to see me nut one out in the middle because that's just going to go straight down there, so that was off the toe, by a good 20 mil, so as in from the sweet spot into the toe, so that was 96 miles an hour and it's just carried 231 yards, so that is, that's it. So off the toe and it's still done that. So the technology they've put in is pretty good. It's definitely ticked the boxes. And the face that they've got, rather than the carbon that's in the tailor, it feels like it goes. It feels like it goes down there. The only downside to it, like I said, they should have maybe tweaked it so it looked a bit different on the colour front. But if you're going to try a driver, then I would definitely put the ping in and have a head-to-head -head with the Callaway very personal preference, depends if you're a Callaway or a Ping man, but I would have that head to head. If you're a Taylor man and you want to still try it, then put it in, obviously, it's very personal preference, and, and that's just my opinion. But Ping one, Callaway second, Taylor third. Any questions or comments, please send them through, give us a good thumbs up, and I'll see you soon.